good army shout out to the army man I want to go ahead and jump on live i was just about to go live and discuss something else but then this popped up man so army make sure y'all smashing the thumbs up as soon as y'all enter into the vault let me go let the other members of the army know that we are going live right now army we are live right now to discuss the news that just dropped about these so make sure y'all join the live at unbreakable kicks on youtube all right army make sure y'all smashing that thumbs up i told y'all i told y'all that that was gonna happen man i told y'all it was gonna happen told y'all it was gonna happen all right army make sure y'all are smashing that thumbs up Smash that thumbs up. Army, we got a thousand people in here already. Smash the thumbs up. Smash the thumbs up, Army. I told y'all that they were going to give out early access again. I told y'all that. I told y'all that, man. I'm like, they not trying to have a lot of people in these stores. Yo, Army, we are live right now, man. I need y'all to swipe up. We about to discuss the news. We just heard about these. Make sure you swipe up so you don't miss your chance at companies again early. We already got a thousand in here. Army, all right, right now, man. I need to swipe so up. hold on army hold on before we get busy before we get busy army i need y'all to smash that young thumbs up i'm gonna do what my man saying don't say nothing until we get 500 thumbs up in the building man army i appreciate y'all though i appreciate y'all for tuning in at such short notice because i was gonna go live earlier today and i was gonna talk about the um the jordan brand lineup but um we can go ahead and discuss both we can discuss both, man. Um, uh, shout out to my boy G-Mac Normie. Say, it's been a minute since I caught a live salute army. Yeah, bro, it has been a minute since you've been in here, man. We already got over 500 thumbs up. What's the news? So, if you did watch the um, the Jordan 11 thing with Mark and Jordan, they just gave exclusive access. They gave exclusive access to, um, or second chance. So, here go again. It says Team Early right here. So check y'all notifications on sneakers. It says Team Early. Um, thank you. Uh, thanks. Um, excuse me. Thanks for sharing your experience. <coughs> your boy act like he ain't been to school in years. Thanks for sharing your expertise on 23 Live. You've been selected to re uh, receive exclusive access for the Air Jordan 11 Jubilees. Check back tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Um, California time. <laughs> I'm bro. I feel like I ain't like Floyd Mayweather. Call me Floyd Breakweather. Boy acting like he Floyd Mayweather can't read. Shout out to um Marty Mark for the three dollar dono. Shout out to um shout out to the army that's up in here, man. Army smash that thumbs up. Let's get this joint to a thousand thumbs up. Uh so my man said he watched the whole thing and then get access. Now I figured that I wasn't gonna get access because I had hit on the shock drop. But I'm going to check my other phones, but I did not watch it on my other phones. So I probably should have and just had it planned. But I want to say you still have to be active in it too. You feel me? You have to be answering the questions because like I told y'all, they had like um, uh, Mark and Jordan was interviewing a Lady May and um, I, I keep forgetting her name. Um, but, you know, they, they was ask, asking questions and things of that nature. So... Hey, so make sure y'all go ahead and check. Check right now to see if y'all got access. See if y'all got access to um to uh the Retro 11 tomorrow. Y'all already know we will be going live for the um exclusive access. Um but like I said, I figured that I wouldn't get any more access because I was able to purchase it. And if y'all have yet to check out the um the video army, I dropped the video I want to say either like Saturday or Sunday. Um, I dropped a video for those so make sure y'all are smashing the thumbs up arm. We got 600 thumbs up. We got 1.3 K up in the building. So army Let's go ahead and talk about the um, Let's go ahead and talk about The Jordan brand lineup. How y'all feel about the Jordan brand lineup? I feel like the the lineup they, they still miss a couple things We didn't have the air Jordan 6 car mines up in that lineup. Um, shout out to my boy uh, L Johnson in the building they didn't have the um the car mats in the lineup, but sometimes they always skip it. Um, hold on. What y'all talking about? Watch what? Okay. All right. Um <laughs> so the other day, when when the Air Jordan 11 shot dropped, Marcus Jordan went live uh that night 
and you know just talked about the history of Air Jordan Elevens. He showed a couple of his special PEs wh or whatever, you know. And if you watch, maybe if you watch the entire thing, they gave exclusive access um, to people to purchase the Retro Elevens tomorrow. So if you were in that joint, if you did watch it, if you were answering questions or whatever it was, they sneakers app just sent out exclusive access to people tomorrow. So again, this is how it looks. Make sure, um, make sure y'all go and just double check. Now I did say this, Army. Y'all remember I said that they were gonna give early access out again. I just did not expect it to be so soon. I did not expect it to be so soon. I'm thinking that they were gonna give access like next week like the week before thanksgiving but if they give out access tomorrow in which they are nine out of ten people will have their shoes next week so that's probably why they did that that's probably why they did that to go ahead and, and give people because i said it army i said it they were going to give access one more time so people can have their shoes for thanksgiving and this is what they doing i, I figured it i figured it out bro not, not not necessarily figured it out, but it's just a trend that Jordan Brand is doing. Shout out to Gabe for the fat I don't know. I was mad I didn't cop on the shock drop and I didn't watch it. That's what I get. Oh dang, bro. Shout out to Tyler. He say love from UK. From the UK, man. Manchester. That's what's up. Army, um, we got 1.5k in the building. Um continue to smash that thumbs up. Let's get this joint to a thousand thumbs up, Army. A thousand thumbs up. Now, if y'all do um you say uh thank you break for letting us know but i didn't get it and i watched the whole thing that's crazy so i guess they still sporadically just picking now army once we get off the live make sure y'all go and check y'all desktop because i hear sometimes uh oh of course this ain't nothing for me um because i hear sometimes if you don't get access because if you don't get access on your um um Sanjo, I don't know how you uh how you comment in the chat. They got like a little little text bar that you can uh, that you should be able to comment on. Um um I forgot what I was about to say. As far as early access goes, oh yeah. Make sure you check in your your desktop as well cuz some people say that they don't have it on their phone, but then they go and check their desktop and then they get exclusive access. So make sure y'all check in both. Okay, make sure y'all check in both. And to be honest, army Prices on these is what I thought. You know what I'm saying? Right now, resale is like 280 for the shoe. I paid 250 to get it, you know, um, next day air. So that's only $30 more than what I paid for, and that was retail. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, it's a dope shoe. Again, if you did not check out the review, please go do so. And Army, please make sure y'all still smashing that thumbs up for your boy, because I definitely want to go ahead and talk about... Um, Wow, y'all saying, when did Marcus Jordan go live? Where y'all been at? Where y'all been at the last week? You know what I'm saying? Oh, is it 7 o'clock? Y'all know I'm missing wrestling, y'all, so I must love y'all. Um, Marcus Jordan went live a couple days ago. A couple days ago, man. Army, y'all got to, that's why y'all need to have the notifications hit. Y'all got to have the notifications hit so y'all can stop missing these lives because to be honest, the people that's in their lives, granted, granted, sometimes they don't always hit. But most of the time when you watch the lives, if you got the notification hit, you don't miss out on this information. Um, what time tomorrow? It's always around the same time, 9, um, 9 a.m. California time. So it's going to be 11 o'clock Chicago time, 12 o'clock New York time, okay? My, uh, Jay Ferguson said they ain't really Army Army, bro. Facts, if y'all don't know what I'm talking about... Y'all, my man Jay said y'all ain't Army Army. So, again, Army, tomorrow, 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 they are giving out exclusive access again for the Air Jordan 11s. I will be going live for those who not hip to it, don't know what I'm talking about. Just be looking for a live around 1030 tomorrow, 9 out of 10, okay? Um, I watched the whole video and didn't get exclusive. Who did get exclusive access? Any members of the Army in here right now that did get exclusive access? For tomorrow's drop who did get exclusive access t uh t dollars said he got it um brian win said he got it um overgrown souls got it um the six wait the 610 all day got it 
Um, Chad got it. So we got a couple people up in here that did get that exclusive access. So Army, just be on the lookout. Like I said, sometimes people say they don't get it on their phone, but then they check their desktop and then they got it. All right? All right, Army. So again, y'all, Army, we need 125 more thumbs up. Excuse me, 225 more thumbs up to get to 1,000. Y'all, let's go ahead and smash that thumbs up. Um, new merch is on the way. I just talked to my mans about it, so it should be here hopefully by the first of December. I was honestly looking, I was honestly looking forward to having it by um, Black, uh, Black Friday, but I mean we gotta wait and see how it go. Shout out to my boy Robert for the five dollar dono. Say I couldn't even watch the live on sneakers. Didn't even show up for Android phones. I heard that. I heard that they did not give Android people no love for that. Shout out to Cannabis Kicks for the two dollar dono. Say you the goat, bro. No cap. Appreciate it, bro. And the only reason why when I seen this, man, I'm like, let me go live. Because sometimes, Army, y'all don't be checking y'all phones. Sometimes y'all have exclusive access and y'all don't even know. So that's why I'm like, man, let me go live. Let me let the Army know that, you know, it's potential exclusive access tomorrow. And for, for some people, some of y'all did get it. All right, Army. Let's go ahead and talk about these. Um, let's go ahead and talk about the lineup for um spring uh 2021 and i'm gonna use some of the photos that z sneakerhead posted okay let's start off with these since i already got them in the vault um uh, where are they are they on the floor hold on y'all i know i got them in here i just know everything is not in the correct order i'm looking for my cool gray threes i'm looking for my cool gray threes i cannot find them but anyways Hold on, where the freak my shoes at? I can't find my cool gray threes. That was the first shoe I wanted to talk about since I already had them in a the vault. And it looked like from what I read that they were going to keep... Bruh. Where my cool gray threes at? Hold on, bro. I know I ain't tweaking now. It's been a long day. But I know I ain't sell them. And I know stuff ain't in the right order in this joint, but I know a pair of cool gray threes when I see them. Hold on, y'all. Fours. Here they are. Okay, cool. Okay. So. All right, y'all. Cool gray threes. Army, smash that thumbs up. We only need 106. Excuse me, 206 more thumbs up. To get to that thousand. I want to hit that thousand. I'm gonna do like bro said and just be quiet till we get it. How about that? Let me see if that works. And that way I can go ahead and get all the shoes in order that I want to go ahead and talk about right quick. Cause I really want to see if they keeping it to the original format like they said that they were gonna do. Only thing, see, I'm already talking to y'all about it. One thing I, I did peep, I did peep a major difference already, Army. I did people, I did people, um, oh, okay, look, y'all are, okay, we almost there. Let me be quiet. Let me be quiet before I go into details about these cool gray threes. When did these come out? 06? Yep, 06. All right, Army, we need 30, 38 more thumbs up. We need 38 more. Bro, these four. <laughs> these four are so cold, bro. I'm four, so low. all right, Army. Eleven more, eleven more, eleven more. All right, y'all. We at that thousand. All right, Army. So from what I see, Army, I'm a. I need to get better with the lives as far as like having. You know how they had like the screens up and I can like show y'all how the old pair looks compared to uh, you know the pictures that Jordan Brand posted today. So Army, here's and I'm using my Man Z sneakerhead as a reference. The cool gray uh, threes for 2021. Now look at the tongue on those and look at the elephant print. So from what I'm seeing, they 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 sticking with that 1988 vibe as far as the retro threes with the tongue, with the elephant print, etc. Because of course the 2006 pair, the elephant print is a lot higher, and the tongue you can see the gray behind the tongue like they've been doing for years. So with that being said, I actually may keep. This pair. Normally, when like a new pair comes out, I always sell the older pair because nine out of ten, this shoe is right right now 14 years old. 
So you might get a couple good wears out of it. But seeing how they changing up the, the mode of the shoe and making it more like it was 1988, that's definitely a different shoe. As far as the color go, the red may be a little bit different as well. Because the red that I have on these looks to be a little bit darker than the red that they going with on this image. But either way it go, either way it go, this is still a cop. The cool gray threes for next year is definitely still a must cop. And Army, just because we hit that thousand thumbs up, we still need to continue to smash because we still got one point we still got 1.5k in here and we only got a thousand thumbs up. So Army, are the cool grays? Let me know as far as if y'all copping or not. Thumbs up if y'all copping the cool grays. Thumbs down if y'all skipping on the cool grays. Cause to me, cool grays are definitely a cop. Them joints are definitely a cop. So thumbs up, Floyd Breakwell. I like that. <laughs> well, I couldn't read that. I couldn't read that sentence for nothing. Thumbs up if y'all copy cool grays. Thumbs down if y'all not. So far, see, it's, it looks honestly like a mixture. Like I can't believe some of y'all skipping out on these, man. But I'm not surprised. When I first heard that we were getting the cool gray threes next year, I said they're gonna do cool gray threes with the cool gray elevens. I be knowing stuff sometimes, man. I'll be knowing stuff. Y'all passing on these. Okay. Y'all saying y'all passing on these joints now. But wait till when he's dropping. These joints are dropping February 27th. Okay. And it says uh, re-releasing for the first time since 2007. So that means that these uh, were produced late 2006. Yup. Yup. The last. So this one, the production, the production was at the end of the year. So these did come out in 2007. Um, so re-releasing for the first time since 2007, the Air Jordan 3 Retro returns with true to form coloring and upgraded materials. With hits of sport red, see I can I can guarantee y'all that the red on here was not called sport red back in the day. Okay, with sport red and orange peel on the tongue, eyelids, airbag, and heel tab, the upgrade construct um, construction features a genuine leather upper. Matte finish midsole and elephant print overlay on the forefoot and heel. This retro arrives in full family sizing. So that's going to be dope to see these. That's going to be dope to see these, especially with the quote-unquote upgrades that they added to these. So right now, cool grade threes are definitely a cop, okay? Um, Army, keep smashing that thumbs up. We had 1.1K. It looks like the numbers keep uh, fluctuating. So cool grade threes, that's a cop. Next up. Let's go ahead and talk about, because I don't see that he put an uh, image for these, but to me, I'm passing on these. These retro these retro uh, ones right here, I'm cool on them. Shout out to El Corleone for the $2 dono. He said Android users didn't get the video. They should do something special for Android users, because I've been, I've been hearing a lot about that as far as Android users didn't get access. So, yeah, these retro ones... And I think I read a little bit on these retro ones, and they were saying, like, they mix in a couple, you know, colorways and aspects of other retros. Because just looking at the shoe, it does have, like, the same um, wing, like, the tab at the top as the Biohacks. So, like, up here at the top where the wing logo is, it has the same, you know what I'm saying? When you move the shoe strings, you can move it back and forth like the Biohacks. They should have kept this shoe just plain, you know what I'm saying? Black toe, yellow heel, you know, not all that other funky stuff. I think that this would have been good. Shout out to um, uh, Joseph for the $2 dono. He said, what's the news about the Air Jordan 11s? Air Jordan 11s will, Sneakers app gave out exclusive access to the Air Jordan 11s, okay? They're supposed to be dropping uh, um, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time tomorrow. And that's if you got exclusive access. If you got exclusive access... You are, you are able to purchase the Retro 11s tomorrow. Now, I kind of feel like they're going to do it one more time because this is the biggest shoe of the year. Retro 11s, we know, is the biggest mass-produced shoe. So they shot drop last week. They're giving that exclusive access a week later. Not even a full week later, they're giving that exclusive access. You know what I'm saying? So I think that they might do it one more time. I think that they honestly may do it one more time, okay? Um, what else we got, Army? Uh, we talked about the retro ones. We talked about the retro threes. Let's talk about the shattered backboard joints. 
Shout out to um, the Carter for the fat out Don't know, say break love the channel. I got access, but I don't see it on my app in my messages. What do I do? Um, maybe log in, log out, and see if you get access, bro. But you should be good. Yes, I, I already deleted, bro. Ain't, ain't nobody got time for nobody in here capping, yo. And I don't even use that word, but definitely got bro out of here. Um, if it's real, text my phone. Facts. <laughs> um, but yeah, bro. Um, check, log in, log out, and see what happens. Log in, log out, see if you get access. Okay. Um, shout out to Brandon for the fat out. Don't know. He said, get an iPhone. Problem solved. Team iPhone all day. Team iPhone all day, man. Um, I should have went for them Turk and Durkins. Those SB Dunk Turk and Durkins, because we was on live for the Turk and Durkins. And, um, I didn't even go for it. I didn't even go for them. Because I thought that it was going to be, you know, I thought it was going to be a tough drop. But I seen a couple people on uh, Facebook. They had got them. They got the Turk and Durkin joints. Um, so, back to these joints. The Air Jordan 13 uh, Shattered Backboards. I like these. I like these, Army. I think they did the perfect colorway for these. I think they did the perfect colorway for these. Maybe they could have probably put a little bit more black in the shoe. But, I mean, it, it, it got the same vibe as, like, a Chicago, you know what I'm saying? It looked like these right here, except you got a black sock liner, and you got blue instead of the um, starfish colorway that they like to go for. So, these Air Jordan 13s, Army, let me see if these joints are um, a cop or a drop. Thumbs up if you copping the Air Jordan 13s, thumbs down if you're not. But the Turk and Durkins, the Turk and Durkins, them joints dropping again on Sneakers app. They don't come with the special box, but I'm still going to go for them. Um, break, you a good dude. Love the info. Appreciate y'all, man. Army, I'm just trying to let y'all know, for those who really wanted these retro 11s, y'all still got another chance of grabbing them joints tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? If you got exclusive access. And seeing how resale is down right now, resale is only 280 So going into the actual release day, if they drop them again, the demand won't be as high. You feel me? So... This probably wind up being like a, a $270 Retro 11 on release day. Shout out to my boy K out of Kicks in the building. Um, and Armin, when I say thumbs down, don't thumbs down the video. Just put a thumbs down, <laughs> just put a thumbs down emoji. Shout out to Nathan for the $2 donut. Appreciate the advice to check the desktop. Much love. Told y'all. Told y'all right there. So I guess he didn't get the message on his phone, but he checked the desktop. And I'm, I'm assuming... I'm assuming that, you know, he got exclusive access. So a lot of people not really rocking with the 13s. I'm, I'm seeing more thumbs down than thumbs up for the 13s. Shout out to OGZ360 for the $2 dono. iPhone 12 Pro Max with the iPhone 12 Pro. Pro Max, my brother. Pro Max. Got that young Pro Max. Um, shout out to Frozone. Say love the SBB 13 starting the Rainbow Collection. SBB 13s are nice, y'all. Those are nice. I'm hoping y'all don't sleep on them, Army, but them joints are nice. And those drop on January 2nd. So that's right after New Year's. And I honestly highly doubt a lot of people going to be out. Well, who is to say? You know, it all depends on that they like the shoe, but I can't imagine a lot of people being out there right after New Year's trying to grab these joints. Um, shout out to Kevin for the $2 dono. Yo, Brett, can you review the UNC 4s for next March? Of course. As soon as I get them joints in, you already know. We're going to do a, a review for them. Shout out to the car to say, Brett, you missed my dono. But um, let me go ahead and check, bro. Let me go ahead and check. Y'all got your boy thinking about them Turk and Durkins. Um, them Turk and Durkin and Whiskies. Um, let's see. Okay, he said, uh, shout out to the Carter for the fat dollar don't know break. Love the channel, I got access. Oh, I, I thought I did, bro. I thought I did respond to that. I said, log in and log out, bro, and see if, um, see if once you get back in, you still see it. Um, what else we got, Army? What else we got? So we talked about the 13s. Um, Army, keep smashing that thumbs up. We had, uh, 1.2K thumbs up. Um, let's talk about one that I'm, that I'm interested in. I'm interested in these... Well, this is a full women's lineup, okay? Full women's lineup. Hold on, yo, big homie. Where did Marcus go live on sneakers on uh, Nike? He went live uh, the day they shot drop. So what was that, the 11th? 
around like 7.30 uh, um, Chicago time. He was live, bro. He was live. But they said Android people did not get access. I mean, Android people could not see him. Android people did not have access to see the um, the story on Sneakers app. But as far as the Air Jordan for women's, I'm cool on the I'm cool on the nines. The nines are kind of funky. The nines kind of remind me of those um the do what was it the do it do it the do it joints that came out uh when All Star Weekend was in Charlotte. That's what those remind me of. The dream it do it dream it do it. That's what the retro nines look like. The retro fours, I'm 100% good on those. Those are not bread fours. Those are like a, like a starfish colorway. So you got the Air Jordan 1 High OG Silver Toe. Let's talk about those right now. Silver Toes are nice. And a, and a good thing about the Silver Toes is that those are going to be exclusive access. Okay? Not, not sorry. I'm sure they're going to do exclusive access, but those are going to be extended sizing. Extended sizing. All right? Extended size. So the, from what I heard, those going up to like maybe a 13 and a half, which is a 12 in men. So that gives more men with bigger feet uh, um, an option of grabbing them. They honestly should do them like they did the retro ones, uh, the UNC to Chicago's, because I want to say those went up to a 14 in men. Those went to a 14 in men. So some whoever told me it's uh, extended sizes, I believe it because for All Star Weekend last year we got an extended sizing, and those came out what the day or two before um, Valentine's Day, and the silver toes come out February twelfth. So those coming out around the same time that those came out last year. So the silver toes are definitely a cop, definitely, definitely, definitely a cop. Anybody in the chat was dropping. Tomorrow, tomorrow. See, I, I got to keep remembering that, you know, we get new people that come in, come out. Tomorrow, Retro 11 sneakers have already sent out exclusive access. Exclusive access for the Retro 11s tomorrow at 11, um, 11 a.m. Central Standard Time, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 9 a.m. California Time, okay? Um, shout out to Jamal Jackson for the... Two dollar donut say we need the Miss Blues again. I feel like it's coming. What app are you using right now? I'm on I'm on um Instagram. I'm on Z Sneakerhead Instagram. How do you get exclusive access? I don't know. My boy uh Deshaun said read the F and title. <laughs> Bro, it, it, look, some people just get so excited about seeing a shoe they don't, you know what I'm saying? You know, you get what I'm saying. So yeah, silver toe, silver toe elevens. Those are a cop. The retro fours, I'm good on those. The retro retro nines are unique though. That's a unique looking retro nine. I'm not saying that that's a must cop, but you know, eh, I don't know. Well, how y'all feel about the nines? How y'all feel about the nines? The nines they decent. They decent. But like I say, they remind me of like them Dream and Do It joints that came out last year. The fours, I'm good on the fours. I don't like the material that they got for these. I don't like the material. Shout out to your boy Alias for the two dollar dono. He said I need a pre order UBK UBK beard <laughs> size grizzly. <laughs> Alias, I see you made a post about the nines. I know you rocking with them. Um, so let's go to the next joint. Now here's the mid nines. I would have been happy with these had we got a retro on the um the dark charcoal nines. Okay, the OG joints. We still haven't yet, you know, to get them in a, what, 2010, 2011, them joints came out. So, I mean, Jordan Brand is doing a lot with University Gold. They're doing a lot with, you know, the Starfish Colorway Shadow Backboard. They're doing a lot with UNC. But these joints right here, eh, it's, to me, it's still a cop. But they dropped the day before my birthday. These joints dropped January 30th. My birthday is January 31st, and that ain't that ain't no shoe I want to be like. The last two releases for my birthday ain't been the best. Shout out to Sneaker News Ozzy for the $2 dono. Them nines are fire. I kind of like the women nines better than these. To be 100% honest with you, I like the women nines better than these. And I feel like Jordan Brand probably should just left it alone with the Black University Gold with the Retro 12s. 
But to me, 12s and 9s are kind of like on that same level. It's a hood shoe that always sell out. So this shoe will still sell out. Break, I got exclusive access on my desktop, but it but it won't be, but I won't be home tomorrow. Would I still see it on my phone? You should be able to. Just make sure whatever account you on your desktop is, is the account you on, you know, for your phone. But yeah, the women eyes are better. So this one is eh. You know what I'm saying? Like if Hibbits was to send me this shoe, you know what I'm saying? I get a shoe, I get a free shoe every month from Hibbits. So, you know, if this is the shoe they send me, cool. Nine out of ten, I nine out of ten, I would rather have the retro thirteens over these though. So I'm I'm iffy on those. These right here, eh, I don't know. I Army, mean, how y'all feeling about the Anthracite Fives? Again, another iffy. I'm kind of iffy on these as well. Break, you forgetting about the Citrus Nines. Those kind of remind me of the Citrus Nines. I've never owned the Citrus Nines, and that's probably why I'm not feeling these like that. These Retro Fives, and I, man, I'm sorry that I wasn't, you know, continuing to read, you know, about the shoe. These come out February 24th. And it says, celebrating the iconic textural element of the Air Jordan 5 in new places. This reconstructed and reconfigured something sees a OG reflective material typically found on a tongue upper now on a quarter panel. So they put in a 3M. So instead of having so instead of having the 3M on the tongue, they put it on a netting system. So I don't know if I like that. One thing that I do like about it is that the netting system normally yellow, but they could have they could have did like a all they could have did like a all black. They could have did these like the blackout fives and could have killed it with that. All upper black, netting black, eyelids black, tongue black, and kept the um I mean they could have even made the they could have even made like the shark teeth or the fighter jet teeth. They could have made that black as well, and I think it still would have been a dope shoe. But I'm I'm not digging the material on these. These to me kind of give like a winterized vibe. You know what I'm saying? How like the winterized fours look and like the winterized twelve. So I definitely gotta see these joints in hand. Gotta see them in hand. I wouldn't even call these a black cat five. These just like an all black five. But I, I don't really like the material that I see on them. Cause I, I can't I can't tell if it's like a hard material pause or like if it's a scratchy material like how we had on those twelves. It may be like a soft regular material, but I gotta wait and see. Um, shout out to look like all hundreds for the four dollar donut. Say, hey, break. We need them cherry twelves in twenty twenty one. I think it's gonna happen, bro. We are going to get, we are going to get an OG colorway in May. We always get an OG colorway in May. Every May we get an OG colorway. We just don't know which OG shoe it is. Okay. I'm looking at Z Sneakerhead on Instagram. Army, keep smashing that thumbs up. I want to have a 1500 on the left side, and I want to have 1500 on the right side. So as of right now, the, those fives, I got to wait and see. I got to wait and see exactly how those fives are going to be. Now, these fives, on the other hand, these are a go. The, it's like a remix of the Air Jordan 5 Stealth that came out in 2006, okay? So it's a little bit of remix, and I had the stealths. I sold my pair earlier this year. I sold my earlier this year. As soon as I found out that they were coming out with um, coming out with a new one, I went ahead and sold those. But those joints are clean. That is a clean pair of Air Jordan Fives, and those are definitely on my list. And those come out March twenty. What was it? March twenty seventh. March twenty seventh for these right here, and those are dope. I really really like these. Um, what else we got? What else we got? Army, keep smashing that thumbs up. Um, y'all ready for the big ones? Y'all ready for the big ones? I don't know which one I like better, though. Break, what you think about the Adapt 11s? I need them. And it's not even like I need them. It's like I got all the other OG High Retro 11s, so I got to add them to the collection. Retail is 500 Retail is 500 So I'm not sure what's, you know, what resale going to be. I'm not sure if people going to see that $500 and be like, I ain't paying $500 for no shoe, or is the resale on that shoe going to be $900 plus? Because the resale on that shoe is going to determine how easy it is to cop the shoe. I mean, that's how it is with every shoe, but every shoe that has a high resale is not retailing at $500. 
You know what I'm saying? It's a it's an innovative shoe that I feel like a lot of people just at least want to see it. Okay, Re, bro, resale gonna be like six hundred. Now, I mean, it's up in the air because one, it's a retro eleven. Now, hear me out. Had they did a better colorway, I think the colorway on that shoe is going to make people not as attracted to the shoe as they could have been. Had they had they started that joint out with an OG colorway. Well, I wouldn't even say a brand or Concord because we just got them. But maybe, like, they could have did the cool grays for those. They could have did, you know, a black, all black colorway or something. I'm just not really feeling that colorway, but I'm still going to grab them. I'm still going to grab them. All right, Army. I'm, I'm, I'm stuck right now. I'm stuck between the fours and the ones. Which one do I think is better? I, I, think, I think both of them are going to do numbers. Shout out to Alias again for the two dollars. Said, "Give me the Balvin ones, or I'm a bite, or I'm a bite all your PEs, bro." Them Balvin ones. Granted, I don't like them. I still feel like those gonna be a hard cop. Um, mm, I'm gonna talk about these first. Let's talk about the fours. And the only reason why I picked the ones over the fours is because I'm not 100% satisfied with the tongue. Okay. A lot of people say the tongue actually low-key kind of makes the shoe, but I'm just, eh, you know what I'm saying? that The tongue is what's getting me, but but this is definitely part of that whole college vibe because if you look inside, where are my, see, I don't know where none of my stuff at because my room ain't really in order, but if you look inside of your Air Jordan 3 UNCs, the, the, the same thing that you have, and here they go. Jordan 3 UNC's so this thing right here you know how they got this right here on the on the um on the in, in inside of the shoe that's what's supposed to be on the side of the tongue but they're not doing team jump man they got a 23 it looked like team 23 so that's a little bit different that's a little bit different from what we seen on the threes even the fives the um those Michigan fives they had that little, and I don't want to move it because every time I move this dang old thing, it starts to buffer. But even with the fives, you see how they got the tag back there? That's the same thing. So that lets you know that those are part of, that those are part of, you know, that whole collegiate vibe that Jordan Brand and Nike starting to do. So as far as the tongue, I hope they do something with that tongue as far as like the unions where you can like cut the tongue or like, Get an exacto knife and kind of remove it. If I get two pairs, I probably will. I probably will um remove that other part of the tongue on one and just keep the other one OG. But those are nice. Now y'all already know what I gotta do. I gotta go and look at I gotta look at the PE because to me it's close to the PE, but I don't remember the PE having that cement on it. So, of course, I'm about to go over to my bro's English Souls. And let me see, because I know they had it. I know my boy Sneaker Sluts had pairs of the Retro 4s. But I'm just trying to see. And Army, I need these. These are called the Air Jordan 4 Oregon Duckmans. Duckman 4s are like a ten to $15,000 shoe right now. Ten to 15 bands for this shoe. Because I know these came out. These came out maybe like early 2010s maybe even before that maybe even before that but i definitely need to add those to the collection um you know what i'm gonna just i'm gonna just go to google air jordan for unc pe but they did have two of them they had two this one that i'm looking at right now this one is the newer one so I want to say it may be like a combo of this one right here. That's the Jordan 4. That's the newer one. They do have an older one as well. And I need to find the older one because I want to say it may be a combo of both of those. New one, new ones. Because the old ones had the, the Tar Heel symbol on the tongue. And I'm just trying to find them right here. See, these are the older ones. These are the older ones. And those don't have cement on it. I mean, I hope it's clear enough for y'all to see. But those are the older joints, and those don't have, those don't have no cement on them. So, 
Eh, I'm, I'm, eh. I like them. I do like them. But those are nowhere near close to the PEs. Nowhere near close to the PEs. Army. Also, I'm thirsty for these too. These uh, retro nines. I'm ready for these. I'm ready for these retro nines. It got that OG vibe to them. Got that OG vibe. Army, keep smashing that thumbs up. Keep smashing that thumbs up. Let me see. Anything Spider-Man I need. Shout out to um, Marcus for the $2 dono. I got access tomorrow. Nike Bless for watching. Yes, sir. Yeah, if y'all watched, if y'all watched the, well, a couple people in here saying that they watched and they still didn't get access to the Retro 11s tomorrow. And last but not least, the Retro 1s. The Retro, bro, these joints are nice. Now, of course, hold on, where are the OGs? Here they go. Cool. Right behind me. Boy, you had to get up. Now, of course, to me, the OGs are still better. That's just a fact. To me, the OGs are still better, but these are nice. These, Jordan brand, honestly, these come out February 20th. And Jordan brand, honestly, may have started the year off with the Air Jordan 1 to 2021. I honestly cannot even think of another Air Jordan 1 that they're going to drop this year that's better than those. Because, I don't know, I just feel like a lot of stuff has been on that whole UNC to Chicago type vibe. Because, ah, ah, I'm struggling. Because look at those, right? Look at the color blocking. Army, I tell y'all all the time, it's the color blocking. Look at the color blocking of that, right? black on the ankle you got a black swoosh you know what i'm saying look at the color blocking on that you got the unc color at the bottom then look at the color blocking of this red at the bottom blue at the bottom black jump man excuse me black um <laughs> black uh nike swoosh black nike swoosh black ankle black ankle black jordan wing emblem Black Jordan wing emblem. So it's pretty much like a UNC Chicago color blocking. A UNC Chicago color blocking. Those joints, these joints are nice. Joints are nice, Army. Like I said, I think that this is the retro one of 2021. Now, of course, we still got others. We got the trophy room joints. Um, we got a couple other ones. UNC one is going to be mochas all over. Those are going to be better than mochas. Those are going to be better. Than, they're going to be better than mochas. They're going to sell out. Well, mochas sold out pretty quick. But see, here's the thing with mochas. Mochas will not. Mochas will not be at this price tag if it had just a regular release. If it had a regular release, they held pairs until after the election was over. Now it's tough for people to get. Only people that's getting mochas right now, for the most part. For the most part, are resellers, cause resellers have that that networking with the stores. Unless you walk your behind in the mall as soon as they take the joints out, and you literally see, oh y'all got mochas in, that's how you gonna get them. But people who got connects, those are the ones who are getting the mochas, and that's just a straight up fact. All the resellers in Chicago, I'm seeing with the mochas. I'm not about to be jetting downtown. Like, if, if the Jordan store got their restock, I'm not about to drive downtown just to be like, yeah, they sold out. Because the people knew the, a day ahead. I ain't, I ain't really got no collect, connects like that in the Jordan store no more. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, I'm not about to be ripping and running the city just to get mochas or try to get mochas for retail. But the resellers, resellers, they are the ones who are getting the mochas because they, they, they the ones who get the phone calls. They would just get our shipment in. Boom. If you're a regular Joe Schmo, you know what I'm saying? You just in the mall, you're not gonna know that they got mochas. They not even putting mochas on the shelves. I highly doubt that they put in mochas on the shelves. You feel me? You gotta know somebody in there gonna tell you that they got their pairs in and then boom, they gone within a second. Okay. So back to these army. How y'all feeling? Do y'all think that these are better than these? Which one y'all rocking with? Now, 
I ain't gonna lie. If if these got suede, because it looked like it got suede on them. It looked like it got suede on them. So if it got suede, it puts these joints in a different category. You know what I'm saying? Put them in a different category. So it looked like y'all liking the new ones. Y'all liking the new ones over the OG? Y'all know me, man. Even if I liked it, these better, I'm not going to admit it. Because I've always said I'm OG over anything. So even if I do like these better, and I wish they are dope, I'm not going to say that I will pick those over the OGs. But these, these are going to be an issue. 2021 is starting off with an issue. And they not even putting... They're not even putting the car mines in this category. They didn't even say nothing about the car mines. They said nothing about car mines, and car mines supposed to be dropping in February. So for the month of February, you got car mines, you got these retro ones right there alone. February is already stacked. They they stacked just for them two releases. Let me see. Uh, you also got the silver toe women joints. Those dropping in February. So right there, well, always All Star Weekend. Where it was supposed to be All Star Weekend always has some of the best shoes they always give us um for the most part we get that dope women's shoe which is the silver toes and then we get that what what jordan one male shoe came out during all-star weekend this year did we get one did we get a did we get a male jordan one that came out all-star weekend i know we have to we have to um we got the pack and we got the reverse breads reverse breads in the pack so they always give you a dope male um, Jordan 1, you get a dope female Jordan 1, and then you get that the main headline, which is a, a OG shoe. So for the last couple years, All-Star Weekend 2016 was the OG 4s. So, um, the White Cements was 2016. 2017, what was what was the, the OG Jordan 1? I'm excuse me, the OG Jordan for 2017. I know 2018 was the um 2018 was the Black Cement 3s. 2019 was the infrared sixes, but I do not remember the OG shoe we got for All Star Weekend 2017. It may have been the Chicago 13s. I want to say it was the Chicago 13s we got for All Star Weekend 2017. Let me know if I'm let me know if I'm wrong, Army. Let me know if I'm wrong. Y'all keep smashing that thumbs up because I know we got a lot of a lot of new people up in here. All-Star Weekend 2017, I want to say it was the Retro 13s. I'm about to double check, though. Jordan 13, Chicago. Let me see. Jordan 13, Chicago 2017. Those came out February 18th. It was those. No, Chameleon 6s. No, that's not the OG. Those just came out during All-Star Weekend. I said we always get an OG. We get an OG shoe. 2016 OG shoe was the um, White Cement 4s. 2017 OG shoe was the Cherry 13s. 2018 OG shoe was the Black Cement 3s. 2019 OG shoe was the Infrared 6s. 2020 was... What we get 2020 OG? Well, bro... 2020 been such a terrible year. I don't even remember. <laughs> but we did get an OG shoot for 2020. As far as retro wise. Or maybe we didn't. Maybe we just got the um we got the um we got the off whites. We got the off white fives. Shout out to Jeremy uh Johnson for the two dollar dono. Thanks on the um thanks on the Soul Steel site cop. Michigan Fives for retail. All up, bro. Soul Steel, look. Look at here. I tell y'all, P.E.'s, Sneaker Sluts on Instagram, P.E.'s, So Steel, Sneaker Sluts on Instagram, So Supremacy, Sneaker Sluts, So so Sneaker Sluts is So Supremacy, So Steel, and that's the guy I get my P.E.'s from. And talking to bro, Black Friday, So Steel is going to be nuts. He already let me know some of the shoes, I'm going to just say, over a thousand shoes will be dropping Black Friday. That's all. That's all I'ma say. Of course, y'all know I'm gonna be on there grabbing some stuff. Um, what else we got? Uh, keep trying to donate five, but it won't let me. I think you got. They always say, bro, you hit the money sign. Hit the money sign somewhere down at the bottom, and it should let you donate. No access, and I watched. 
Yeah, I watched it too, but I don't think I got access because I actually hit on the shoe. I think that's the only reason why I didn't get access. But I, I don't know because I didn't try the other phones. I was only watching from my, from my one phone and I didn't try the other phones. Hey fam, are the Court Purple 3s coming out on the 21st? Only overseas. Court Purple 3s will not be dropping in North America. Please tell us about the Oreo 5s. Only thing I know about Oreo 5s is I had them earlier this year and I sold them. And them joints coming back out next year. So to me, that was good. That was a good thing that I moved them then. Because 9 out of 10, I probably still get them. Um, shout out to Big C Wilson for the $2 dono. Um, shout out... Um, what is dropping break tomorrow early access for the air jordan 11 jubilee sneakers have already threw out the um the alert so if you did get early access you should already know shout out to uh to saval seville for the two dollar dono um said uh just he gave me two bucks appreciate you bro um euro plug activated so i'm definitely trying bstn and i'm trying um bstn um in clothing and i want to say sneak uh sns is another european site so 9 out of 10 they probably gonna have raffles up sometime this week at one point in time them core purple threes was going a thousand bucks on goat now they down to like 300 ish so it still might be like a 250 to 300 dollar shoe maybe even 350 but that shoe i say grab it when it drops because 9 out of 10 price is gonna go down a little bit but as time goes on that shoe is definitely gonna go up because it's not dropping in the states. Um, shout out to Dre um, Jungles for the five dollar dono. He said them shadow backboard four point oh ones and the top three ones for twenty twenty one. Don't sleep. Free game. UNC one's gonna be trouble. I smell it. Big facts, bro. We already know that that shoe is gonna be trouble. Trophy room one's gonna be trouble. I think next. I'm telling y'all, next year. Next year is going to be an issue. I've been saying that. I've been saying that ever since we seen Carmass sixes. But then they want to smack us with the with the cool grades at the end of the year. You know what I'm saying? So what's going to make 2021 one of the best sneaker years for Jordan Brand is that middle game. They always start off strong. January, February, March, and low. No, honestly, January, February, March, and April are killer months. Because I tell you, you always get that OG shoe in May. So after you get that last OG shoe, it, it, it kind of dies down. Like June, July... June, July, and August is kind of slow as well. Then it started picking back up in September for like uh, back to school time. September, October, November, December. Well, actually, October, November, December is killer months as well. But that back to school time, they definitely, you know, throw in a couple decent ones for us as well. Carmine's better come out in the summer. Carmine's coming out in February. They already got the date for him and everything. Army, keep smashing that thumbs up. We got 1.5K in the building, Army. I appreciate you guys. Also, Army, I did make a um I did make an announcement on um my IG. It was a member of the Army. I don't remember where he's from, but um he definitely said that he just got uh let me read it. He said that uh finally got him. Local Foot Locker finally got got the mochas in stock. So glad I waited and got him for retail. So like I said, if you one of them lucky people who can, you know, randomly walk in the mall and, and be able to grab you a mocha, it's still a shot, but it's it's slim. It's very, very slim out here for these mochas, man. And I honestly just can't wait until next year because then everybody gonna be focused on the retro the new retro ones. So the UNC joints, the UNC joints will be better than mochas. I can guarantee you those will be better than mochas. Definitely will be better than Mocha's Army. So, y'all let me know. Y'all let me know which one y'all liking better. Y'all liking the Mocha's or are y'all liking the UNC joints? Which one y'all like better? Shot drop again or what? It's not a shot drop. It's just early access. Early access. They sent they sent out early access to people to be able to purchase the Retro 11s tomorrow. I 100% agree that the UNC's are better than Mocha's. Mocha's had a black toe type of color blocking. The UNC's have a Chicago type color blocking. Well, Ben is due asking dunk prices. Uh, what you talking about, bro? If he comment again, let me know. Do you know the price for the CPMF dunks? 
I don't, bro. Y'all know I'm not a dunk person. I'm not a dunk person. Hey, the army be tired of y'all, man. For those who be coming here spamming and stuff, the army be tired of y'all. So I'm just letting y'all know, hey, if there's a point where they like, they break, we got to get somebody out, I'm definitely going to look and see what they talking about. Yep. So here's from um, Boss Hogs on IG. He just showed, you see the exclusive access at the top, and then they got the Retro 11s right there. So they, they definitely, they definitely dropping tomorrow. They definitely dropping tomorrow, man. So for those who need them, for those who need them. Let me see. What else we got, Army? We're going to rock it out for a little bit longer, Army. How many grown men wearing baby blue? Mochas you can actually wear with most things. See, I don't... I mean, I see what you're saying, bro. But I don't like that whole color, sex, you know, gender. Like, it's a color, bro. Like, when colors were created, they weren't saying, like, this color right here is going to be made specifically for men. That's just a human thing that we made... Us as humans made it like pink is a girl color. Purple is a... But these colors ain't got no sex and gender to them. It's just a color. You know what I'm saying? And plus, baby blue is Jordan. When you think of Jordan, you think blue and black and baby blue. You know what I'm saying? UNC and, and, uh, UNC and Chicago colorways. That's what you think. Like I said, you know, colors colors wasn't made as, as a sex. Like... Pink is not a, a female. Blue is not a male. It's just us humans, we made it that way. You know, so I see, I, I honestly will see more because a lot of people be like, I don't like brown. A lot of people don't wear brown. I will see, I will see more people, bro. If we was to look in this room right here, it's probably just as much UNC blue Jordans as it is uh, black and blue. I mean, excuse me, black and red or red and white or whatever. Um, what else we got, Army? What else we got? Last questions, Army. Last donations. We got another three minutes up in this joint. Y'all know I hate getting off live with over a thousand people. But, you know, I know people want to watch football. I, I want to watch wrestling. You know what I'm saying? So, um, let's see. Got a couple people hitting me up right now on some stuff. But, yeah, Army. Last quote. We got 1.6K thumbs up, Army. I appreciate that a lot. Reverse um, reverse 13s, I actually kind of like those reverse breads. And I can't believe I'm saying that, but I actually kind of like those. Shout out to my boy Mello for the $5 dollars do know. Was there any issue or blemishes with your Fire Red 4s? I want them, but I'm worried that I'll get a B-grade pair. Is it, um, and is it true to size? 4s, for the most part, are true to size. And a lot of the pairs came flawed, bro. A lot of the pairs came flawed. A lot of them came flawed. So, I mean, what can you do, bro? Like I, like I tell people, man, I tell people this all the time. If you've been wearing Jordans for over five years, you should know about quality control. You should know that your Retro 1 may not look like the next person Retro 1. Your Retro 6 may not look like the person next to you Retro 6. Your retro, your Black Friday Air Jordan and your Retro 11 may have some issues with it because those are the two most mass-produced Jordans of the year. So they going some gonna come creased, some gonna come, you know, with blemishes on them. You know what I'm saying? It's it's just this is just this is where we at right now with it, man. Either I tell people either you just gonna stop buying mics, you just gonna go buy them designer shoes, or you just going to continue. Like, w w with the Air Jordan 4s, this is what I recommend. If you're going to go to the store and buy them, check your pair out before you leave. Check your pair out um, before you leave. Check your pair out before you leave. And once you do that, you know, you can at least look and see, all right, man, my pair looking good, you know, and I'm cool. But they, it was a lot of inconsistencies with them joints. Um, shout out to Unknown. He said, break is the cut on the tongue for the uh, fire red smaller than the fire red from 2019. I noticed, huh? I noticed mine is smaller cut than the 2009 breads. All you talking about as far as, you know what, bro? I'm going to keep it 100 with you, bro. I don't even look that deep into shoes, bro. And, I, and I'm not even trying to be funny. 
But, you know, I, I just didn't think to look at the cut of the tongue on the bread force compared to the cut on the tongue from the uh, fire reds. I, I, I just don't look that deep, bro. I know I get my shoes from Nike retailers. Or I'm grabbing it, you know, mom and pops, Nike retailers, or the mall. I know they legit. And I go home and I just get my shoe. You know what I'm saying? I I, I, I don't. I don't. So, nah, I haven't checked, bro. But I definitely can not check. Nah, bro, don't say sorry. It wasn't. Oh, okay, that's somebody else. But, um, yeah, bro, I, I, didn't, I didn't check it out. I didn't check it out. But, I mean, it's a different year. They probably just use a different mode for the Retro 4s. They probably just use a different mode for the Retro 4s. Um, so yeah, what else we got army? What else? Last questions, last donations, any, anything else, anything else? Um, if y'all did miss, if y'all did miss anything, just rewatch the live. Of course y'all know I keep all the lives up, man. So army, I'm gonna rock it out for a couple more minutes. No word on the black and gold ones. Those drop at the end of the month and I'm sure they're going to do it. Probably, they probably do exclusive access for those next week. Since they did exclusive access for the um, retro uh, 11s for tomorrow, so the the, the patent leather joints they gonna do exclusive access for those. And and I'm honestly surprised that that patent leather shoe not sitting at four fifty five hundred dollars right now. I'm honestly surprised because I even see you know the the legit resellers in Chicago selling them for like three twenty five. You know what I'm saying? And to be honest, that's a steal because all this year must been taxing. All this year must been taxing. So, what's dropping tomorrow? And hey, y'all just gonna have to rewatch it, Mark, bro. Y'all gonna have to just rewatch it. Uh, don't worry, bro. I, I just blocked, bro. Who keep who keep um putting their facts up here? Shout out to um La man. That look like a French name. I'm gonna say La Rogu. I know I butchered that name. Uh, when is the 2020 Black and White Elevens dropping? Re, um, release day is still release day is still the 12th they shop dropped last week and then they gave out exclusive access today in which you can go and purchase the pair tomorrow if they gave you exclusive access they under 300 on stock hey people still trying to get the mochas <laughs> uh, shout out to Pete for the uh, five I don't know your break you ever cop gear from uh, Chalk Chalkins for the WWE jackets to match your kicks. I've seen them, bro, but the ones that I wanted, they were always sold out. Like the Stone Cold one was always sold out, the Rock and the NWO. They may be back in stock, bro. Send me a link, bro. I'll go ahead and check them out. Um, La Rue Garou. La, La Rue Garou equals werewolf in French. Okay, appreciate that. Um, What else we got, Army? What else we got? What else we got? My man say 0 and 11 on Sneakers app. Hey, I need that Undertaker WrestleMania uh, winning streak on Sneakers app. Man ain't been the best either, y'all. Man ain't been the best either. All right, Army, we're going to rock it out for two more minutes. Get out get out of here at 65, 65 minutes. What's up with the single day sixes? I'm good on those. Um, You heard about James Harden trying to go to the Nets. Oh, if James Harden go to the Nets, the Lakers may have some trouble. Jay, cause they had James Harden, Kevin Durant, and they had Kyrie Irving. So that'll be some trouble. I seen I seen Snipe was mad that uh Chris Paul got traded to the Suns. This is Chris it's pretty much over with, man. It's pretty much over with for Chris Paul, man. It's pretty much over with for him. I think this is gonna be his last team. If this is not his last team, he's gonna be on the team and he's gonna win the championship with. And and I'm not gonna say he's gonna ride the bench, but he's still gonna do his part, but if he get traded one more time, I think it's over with. They say it's official for Harden. Really? Because that's my first time hearing the rumor, but some of y'all saying that it's already official. Bro, please stop asking about CPFM dunks. Y'all know I'm not the dunk guy, okay? Y'all know I'm not the dunk guy. Sometimes y'all just be spamming just to be spamming. Um, Break, what about the Summit 1 highs? I don't even know which ones you're talking about, bro. Um... Oh, I forgot all about the Raging Bull Fives dropping next year. Raging Bull Fives dropping next year as well. Um, wait, where Harden going? My man said Harden trying to go to the Nets. That would be dope. That would be dope. Again, KD, Kyrie Irving, and James Harden. Then next up, you're going to hear Russell Westbrook trying to go to the Nets. 
to get the uh the um Oklahoma City Thunders in in New Jersey now or or Brooklyn wherever they at now. I think they in Brooklyn. All right, Army. Twenty more seconds. Any last questions? Army, smash that thumbs up if you have yet to do so. Smash your thumbs up. Any last questions? Any last donos? Uh, my man said Harden trade is not official yet. Okay, it's not official. If James Harden go to the Brooklyn Nets, I will shave off my James Harden beard. All right? I will shave off my James Harden beard if that man go to the Nets. How about that? All right, Army. It's been love. It's been good. And I will catch you guys tomorrow.